Bruce Sherman. I'm a counselor in Chief Bay High School. I've been working here for 24 years. And in 24 years, I've seen a lot of things in Chief Bay. And I've seen it be a great school. And then about some six years ago, the school did start to deteriorate. The hallways were a problem. There were behavior problems. And then we got a new principal. We got new security people. And the whole school got cleaned up. Miss Sheep said, I won it last year. Oh, congratulations. She comes back every year. That's how amazing the school is. Are you, uh, oh, are you the class of 2010? Yeah, graduated oh, last year. Wow, what are you doing now? I'm in college. I go to Monroe. Wow, I always great. have to represent Sheep So you were proud of this school? You want to keep of it open? Of course. I, I was raising Sheep said. Oh, great. <laughs> so why would they want to close you? Based on what? Um, this is the whole thing that I don't have an answer to. Um, I hope that it's not for any ulterior motives. I really don't know what this is. Nobody really seems to know. Great. Hi, I'm Terry D'Ambrosio. I'm the chapter leader here at uh, Chiefton Bay High School. I'm also a paraprofessional. I work with the disabled children because this is a barrier-free building. And if they close us down, where are our kids going to go? My name is Joe Viteri, and Sheep said it's my life. This is my home. And if they tear it down, there's going to be problems. And the idea that the, the DOE will close it down is just uh, almost ridiculous to me. Sheep said, I love it. Okay. Thanks. And this man right here, one crazy too. Alright. Hey, what are, what are you guys doing here? Are you from another school? <laughs> Solidarity <laughs> forever. Solidarity forever. Okay. We're gonna march across the Brooklyn Bridge. would like to say is that there could be no good explanation to close a school. Hell no, we won't go. They don't get the money, they don't have special education services. So what they're doing is they're breaking up these schools to make them worse. And that's really a crime against uh, I education. Have, I have a bill pending. Can I take this? Is that okay? Fine with me. Okay, cool. I, I, I never say anything privately. I wouldn't say publicly. Okay, fine. <laughs> I, I have a bill pending that would force them to track the kids that are left behind when they close a school and phase it out. What happens to the kid that's a freshman year, right, right, right. right next right. year and the year after year after? And they insist they provide extra money to, to uh, maintain the services and the guidance and all of that. And it's not true. It's not I know true it's not all. true. And I know it's not true. They're not even getting their special ed services because what they do is, this is something that's not even supposed to be out there, is they probably illegally, I don't even know, but they're decertifying these kids from s services because they can't provide them in the broken down